Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with even more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we've got a lot of armor sets to get, including the rubber set. So, let's jump on in and see exactly what we can do over here. We're going to get the rubber set, we're going to get the soldier set too. And if we have some more time, maybe we'll get the royal guard set. Here's hoping. Alright, anyway, so I'm in Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. The very first thing that we're going to get is the rubber armor, which is available all the way over here by Whistling Hill in this general area. So, in order to get over there, we are going to fly all the way upwards, and we are going to glide on down to that spot. So, it's directly to the south, should be pretty easy. I don't think we have to do anything outside of just finding it. So, here's hoping. Here's hope, and welcome back to even more. I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the content and uh, just really hanging out. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So we are going to go straight over here. I'm going to pin this as a uh, green spot so we know exactly where to fly. And we have our full wing gear, wing suit, so we can glide two times as far, which is awesome. And we're going to glide over this chasm. And we're going to make our way over to an area. Maybe there's like a, a little cave. It's called Whistling Hills Cave. That's where we're going. Oh, cool. That's right. Nice. All right. Do it. Lots to do it, friends. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, there's a shrine over there. Oh, man, I miss shrines. Man, we've been going gear hunting for all of these episodes. So, I mean, I'm okay with gear grinding, right? That's part of the game. You gotta get all the gear. It's my favorite part of the game. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll do some shrines soon. I mean, I'm missing a little part of my stamina wheel, and it's kind of irking me just a little bit, because I don't have it, like, fully maxed out. So, yeah, maybe that would help out. But ultimately, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Not a problem. All right, anyway, there's a shrine. Not a big deal. Uh, I don't even need to activate it. I'm okay. Okay, so here's Whistling Hills Cave, yeah? Is this it? Ooh, perfect, perfect. So taking a look right over here, uh, which is exactly what we want. So if you have access to Yenobo, you can actually use him to break some of these things. Or use bomb flowers or rock materials or all those other things. Uh, let's jump on in. So here we go, this is Whistling Hill Cave. Watch out for the keys, because we need to uh, keep an eye out over here. Yeah, ooh, man. One, two, taking the bomb flowers. Let's go, let's go. All right, Whistling Hills Cave. That's it. So these are going to be vines that you could easily slice through with any kind of sharp weapon. Hardy Truffle, glad to take that. And then, uh, as you can see over here, there are going to be uh, all sorts of bomb flowers along the way. And look at these guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah, these little bacoblin little skeletons are really not that hard. One dude, like, hit me with something, man. Get out of here. Okay, bacoblin arm. Great. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a look around. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, here's another spot. So inside this cave, I'm sure there's going to be, like, a bubble gem somewhere. So we got to look around. I don't... I don't know if this is it. This could be it. It's a royal shield. Great. <laughs> Not one. Shield guard up? I'll take that. That's great. Alright, well, we're close. We're close, but we're not here yet. Oh, there's a cave entrance there. So we have ascend. So let's go ahead and ascend through here and see what's going on. Great. Oh, here goes a like like. Okay, I'm down for. Oh, okay. Whoa! Oof! Yo, get owned! Ouch, man! What in the like-like? Dude, that was rough. Okay, here we go. Can I, like, throw it back at him? Ooh, he threw another one! Oh, twice, guy! <laughs> oh, forget him, man. I'm just running under him. Forget about it. I'm done with that. Yunobo! Where are you? Don't, don't, dude. Oh, you actually hit, oh, you know what just got eaten. Okay, this is great. Okay, well, since that's a thing, uh, since Yunobo's being uh, really awesome and he's taking hits, we're gonna use bomb flowers over here. 
Oh, there's another one of these things, an electric like. Oh, I don't like electric likes. Well, Yanobo, are we gonna? Oh, yeah, we we may have to. I mean, the the level is giving us a ton of bi bomb flowers, so we could beat this thing up if we really wanted. I mean, you could beat it up if you want, but we're trying to go behind it. Not really a problem here. I don't really need the materials, and whatever is inside here is probably something I don't need anyway. Like, do any of these royal guard shields? They're actually really good, so I, I guess I will take them. Anyway, so we're going to grow- oh yeah, that's it. We're done -zo. That's it. That's, that's exactly what we needed right here. Perfect. So just dodge the boulder like-like, and then we get ourselves the rubber armor, which is perfect. So that's going to be something brand new. We're going to equip that. And we're golden. Yeah, I don't need these on. There we go. Look at that. We got some rubber armor over here. That's exactly what that looks like. So perfect. Love that. We got it right over here. We're going to delete these stamps. And now let's go get the rubber helm. That's going to be west of Bronus Forest. Uh, which is going to be right over here. Yep, Sarjan Woods. Mm-hmm. Here's Bronus Forest. Easy mode. Uh, what we can do in order to get to this way is probably fly from this Skyview Tower. So we're going to go from this Skyview Tower all the way over this way to this general area. Okay, so really nothing to it. So let's go fly and let's see what we can get. Rubber. Rubber armor, man. So apparently the rubber armor, like what, prevents you from getting shocked? I don't know. But it looks kind of cool. So, and we're here for, <laughs> we're here, we're here for all of the gear sets. Like that's my favorite thing in the game. So, I think getting two gear sets for this entire episode is is very tangible. So let's do it. All right. So speaking of gear sets, if we're gonna be flying around, I will absolutely put my wingsuit on. It only takes two uh, two clicks to do. So we're gonna be going to the south. And let's just see exactly how far we have to go to the south. So not too bad. All right. So going to the south, we're going to head right over this way. So I'm going to put a little marker over here. We're going to follow green from our tower there. So let's do it. Following green. And we're going to go. I don't necessarily, I don't think I need tooling for this. But we could. We could use them. Yeah. It's always good having Tulin out. I think he's he's the most useful out of all of them. I don't really like... <laughs> Let's just say he's top tier. Because he's a cute little bird. Alright, we are flying on down. This is about, what, like maybe one wheel of stamina? You should be alright. If you guys didn't invest in stamina yet, highly do so. You need at least two of them at this point, right? Alright. Looks like we're very close. Let's take a look. We're going to be going to the Sarjan Woods Cave for this one. And hopefully be able to just jump on in, find what we need, and get out of there. Of course, there's probably going to be some places where you can easily warp to. If you have access to a lot more shrines than I do, so feel free to do that. But uh, there's a cave somewhere over here that I'm looking for. It's very dark. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, cool! Oh my gosh, you know what I love doing? I don't know if this is worth it. I might blow myself up. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> let's not. Whenever you see the keys that fly out like that, um, I love... I love dropping bombs. All right, anyway, so here we go. This is it. This is the Sarjan Woods Cave. This is what we're looking for over here. There is a little bit of water. Uh, so let's actually put out our swim gear so that we don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, I've been doing a lot of gear upgrades off screen, which is always really fun. So we're going to just swim on through over here. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I can't even do that. Can I swim past it? Hey, great. So, maybe there's a raft or something you can use? Cool. I don't want to get... Ouch! What a fun guy. What was this over here? I'm just going to climb up. 
Oh, I can knock these guys out if I really wanted to. Yo, he threw a boulder at me. Come here. Okay, now fall in the water. He's a good swimmer. And he's done. Perfect. I'll take all that stuff. Thank you very much. Black Horror Blend, man. Yeah, so we upgraded the Zora armor uh, all the way through. So we have the very cool spin attack that we can do in order to uh, not get hit by anything. There's a giant log. Oh, cool. Maybe that's going to be a little bit more fun. Done the water. Oh, gosh. Move that guy. Yo, Tulin, can you do something, buddy? Tulin, buddy. Okay, Master Sword is probably not the strongest. Ooh, wow, this guy. This is a silver one. Cool. Yeah, we don't often deal with silver ones, but as long as you push them in the water, they don't even know how to swim, so we're all set. And, like, you just take all their junk. Great. Alright, so here we are. We're swimming on through. If we wanted to, we can chop this uh, with a sword swipe, like so. And then we could just hold on to this log as we, uh, as we make our way through. Whoa. Alright, we're swimming. Uh, slow, man. Get that fish. Yeah, I'd be a lot faster just swimming on through. But you can see from over here... Oh, what is that? Are those cracks in the wall? Uh, no, no. Nothing interesting. Points of interest. You've got some mining veins that you can do. I think I'm just gonna go through here and see what's up. I think swimming is going to be a lot quicker for me. Especially if you have, like, the the, the full Zora gear at level 2. You're golden, man. And it looks like these little vines have the perfect amount of space that you could just swim through. Uh, except for... No, no, no. This one's good. Yeah, yeah. We're great. Okay. Okay. So we got a regular old like-like over here. Not really caring too much. Uh, I don't think it's going to snatch me. This looks like I can't. Or maybe I can. Maybe I can squeeze to the side here. You're kidding. Really? Okay. Well, from what it looks like, I may have to grab this thing. But I don't want to get eaten either. Dude! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, so I can get eaten. Not gonna get eaten today. That is, that is not... I'm not on the menu. Tulin, get him! Are you kidding? I shot an arrow at that. <laughs> I'm so glad the like-like don't actually take your gear in this game. Go ahead, spit it out. There we go. Okay, okay, we're going 61 damage. Three hits and you're done. Thanks. Okay, do I need that? I really don't. I don't need that treasure chest. Let's do this. Let's take out a sword. Great. Alright, see you later, Master Sword. Well, I hope that we're going the right way. Okay, so there's a bubble gem. Or a bubble frog. Oh, I kind of startled him. Alright, well, it looks like we got some rapids over here. Not a fan, but we're going quick. We Oh, dang, that was my one chance at that bubble gem, huh? Hey, that's great. You know what? Once we're done with that... Hey, where is he? Can I can I do that again? Okay, watch this. I'm not going to come back to this cave. So this looks like... Hold on. This looks like a waterfall I could swim up, right? There you go. Great. This guy. So this guy thinks he's slick. There we go. <laughs> Give me that. Oh gosh, you're still alive. That's kind of creepy. Get him tooling. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I wanted the bubble gem. Just so I don't have to come back to this cave later. Alright, so we're good. And there we have it. This is uh, the next gear piece. So, it was just a long ride down uh, in order to get it. So rubber helm, cool. So now I can put on a rubber helm and I can put on a rubber torso piece. It looks like a fish. 
Interesting, like a catfish, right? Weird. Okay, well, let's uh, let's head on over to the next place. Uh, we're gonna head on over to the Upland Zorana Skyview Tower over here, and then we're gonna make our way all the way to the southeast. If you take a look over here, we're gonna go past this area and go. Oops, um, yeah, yeah, it's over here. Sorry, Horon Lagoon. So from the Skyview Tower, we're gonna go straight over to this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark it with green. We're gonna head over to the Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. I'm gonna fly on over, get hopefully the last piece of it. And then we'll take a look and see what it's gonna to take to upgrade it all the way over to the max level. So fun. Welcome, welcome. All right, all right, let's do this. Just advancing the game even further, getting some two new pieces of gear. Soldier outfit, rubber outfit, good. Let's do it. Upland Zorana. Okay, so this one's gonna be pretty interesting. There is, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Horon Lagoon. So since I got this cool gear over here, we're going to absolutely switch out of it really quick and get going. All right, here we are. Uh, we're flying to green which is looking real good. There are still a lot of things in the sky that I have yet to do, so I cannot wait for that. All right, here we go. Do it. Is that a fairy fountain? Uh, that is not a fairy fountain, no. So I will pass. You can always need more fairies. That's just always what I say. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to come out at you. There was one time I was using this glider set to like explore around in the game. And uh, I forgot that I put on a piece of cold armor. I put a piece of cold armor on to like mitigate the very, very high cold. And uh, I thought I had the impact proof bonus, and then I face planted all the way from the top of the sky, and I lost the life. I got a game over from it, so that will not be happening again. If I'm going to be equipping stuff, I got to make sure that I have all three pieces of this. We are not going to face plant and get a game over. And if it does happen and you have a fairy, then you're all set. Done. Yeah. Oh, you know, I should actually look at catching more than three fairies. I should absolutely look at that. Having a pocket full of fairies? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Remind me to do that later. That would be super smart. No more game over screens. Alright, here we go. We are flying down. Even if we run out of stamina, we're okay because we won't take any fall damage. But as you can see, we're about halfway there. It is a little rainy and it is nighttime, so should be fine. I don't really like exploring in the dark, though. Every time I do an episode, I swear it's in the dark. Alright, here we go. Boom. Boom. Okay, so here we are. There's gonna be a little cave we're jumping right on in. Great. Horon Lagoon Cave. Whoa. Okay, well, it looks a little wet over here, so I'm gonna go wear my Zora armor. Just in case we need to swim or anything like that. I don't think I need any of these materials here. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't need any materials in the game. I think I'm good. So let's head on let's head on down and let's see if we can explore the cave. Maybe find a bubble gem. Little bubble frog over here. Absolutely need that, because we're gonna need to collect like 46 of these things, man. Oh, what a fast guy. What are you fast? Really? I got the weak bow on right now. I got like a traveler's bow. Let's not do that. Here, this is much better. Get owned. Alright, give me that. Okay, great. Yeah, we need about like 40 some odd of those in order to get like a last piece of gear and that's gonna take a long time to do. Okay, so here we go. There's a little rock. Oh my gosh, what in the world is this? Uh, I'm gonna swim around that. And then crouch under here. What are you telling me? I can't crouch. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Well, I just I did do I did do that. How in the world am I? Okay. <laughs> it's like you you shall not pass. And I said, uh, yeah, I'm going to. That's the thing. All right. Well, we can get a spear. 
and a rock. So I'm going to take the spear. I'm going to fuse it with a rock. And we're going to go over there. I'm going to break this open by myself. Because I don't think Yenobo can make it over here. Hey, okay. Well, that was relatively easy. Should be too hard. Done. Rubber tights. We have the full-on rubber tights outfit. Let's take a look at it. Pants. And, uh, yeah, everything. So let me unequip the bow. I'll just give it to you full-on. Hey, there we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yo, this is the rubber set. Wow. It actually looks kind of fun. It's like a little rubber fish. I'm into that. All right, well, we do have time uh, for another set. So let's head on over to Hyrule Castle and make our way over to the next set. Yeah, should be fun. Should be fun. Let's do it. That was good. So we figured it out. And now it's time to go get the soldier outfit. The soldier outfit's going to be pretty cool. I hope it has some good defense, because it's actual armor, like metal-plated armor. So it should be should be all right. Let's take a look. So we are flying over to Hyrule Castle this time around. Uh, yeah, I've got my rubber set on. i got shock resistance, which is great. So as you can see over here, what we're going to be doing is we're taking the route from, uh, let's just say, Lookout Landing, for example. We're going to take the route all the way up over here through the first doors. And then there's going to be a spot right over here where we need to go in order to find that. So let's do it. It is nighttime right now. So I got nighttime speed up gear. So I'm going to go use that. Yeah, it links a little bit quicker with that. So let's just run on through and make our way there. I do like nighttime speed up. Like this is the, like the sneaky gear that you get from Kakariko Village. And if you raise it to uh, two star, you can get a set bonus of uh, running running really fast. So we're gonna sneak around this way and we're gonna make our way up. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, is that the sound of a blood moon coming? Or is that just Hyrule Castle music? I don't know. All right, well, anyway, we're here. Let me in. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, soldier outfit. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna head over here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that is Blood Moon. It's fine. It'd be funny if I had to battle a whole bunch of enemies. Okay, so, uh, Blood Moon aside. Okay, we're over here. I'm not interested with whatever they're doing. Got my sneaky set over here. Alright, so we're gonna come this way. This is the observation room. So since we're in the observation room, we're gonna jump straight down over here. Just make a little, uh, discovery. This is the Royal Hidden Passage. Uh, what we can do is actually glide on down over here. And just make our way straight down so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to bring out Yunobo. And if you don't have Yunobo, then just use bombs or like like any kind of rock weapons. I'm sure there's rock weapons over here that you can use uh, in order to kind of like fuse and get that going. So I think that using Yunobo is good because he literally has one job and that's to break rocks for you. Okay, all right, we are okay. Hi, friends. Um, I do have one rock weapon, don't I? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so these little rock guys are gonna come out and I don't really like them, so we're just gonna destroy them. So we do have our little rock weapon here. There's gonna be a bunch of, it looks like luminous stone or zonite. Yeah, luminous stone, we'll take those. Bomb flower one, in case we wanted one. Okay, so we're going to look down over here and see if we can find the next place. Get some flint. Oh, that's a big cave. Oh, hey, dude. I mean, I want it, but, like, I kind of don't really want to deal with it. Let me see. Where's my bow? All right, let's do it. I got. You mean to tell me i got to come all the way down there and pick that up? Man. All right, fine. I'll take it, because I need it. 
All right, so we're gonna jump right this way, and we're gonna see what we can find. Okay. All right, so uh, over here, we're gonna be looking around for some rubble. I don't know if this is, oh, oh, here we go. This little sneaky spot. Okay, so right over here, um, right underneath the, the electric like, Right underneath the electric like is going to be a whole bunch of rubble, and this is exactly where we're going. Wow, this is really hard to get through. With just this baby little stick here. Ooh! Oh gosh, help, man! Yunobo, please do something! I should wear my shock gear. Right? My rubber gear that we just got. Shock resistance, I think. And I got some meals, so you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. Don't. Rusty Claymore. There we go, Yunobo. Now you're doing work. So luckily the game gives you enough of the uh, like materials that you need in order to get that going. All the rocks and everything else. Alright, so right over here, we've got another little rock spot. So if you want to use any of your weapons to break it, or if you want to just fuse any of your stuff, you can easily do so. So we're going to do that. Here we go, Grudo Claymore. I'm going to fuse that with a rock. We're going to break this a lot faster. Okay, great. Give me something good. Alright. Oh, man. Okay, so we made it to the jail. So now we're going to go inside this jail cell. I'm going to remove this rock. I'm going to jump down here. Take a bomb. And by jumping down here, we should be able to uh, ascend... Maybe like here? Yeah, I think it, right next to the other bomb flower we should be able to ascend upwards. Okay. Hey, there we go. Sweet. Love it. Boom. Number one. Ba -na 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 -na. Okay, so we got some soldier's armor. I'm gonna go back underground over here. Yeah, because we wanted to go back to the other place, right? That's exactly it. Okay, so we are going to get out of here. Okay, the entrance of the jail, man. Okay, so we're going to get out of here, and taking a look, there's so many bomb flowers nearby, it's just begging to be used in this one section here. But if you have Yunobo, use him, as he will break these easily for you. And if you don't want to wait for Yunobo, then uh, what we'll do... Oh, three bombs? No, I don't need three bombs. Uh, what we could do is just, honestly, bomb forward. Just like that. Uh, did I not even do it? Yeah, maybe. Alright, anyway, we're good. We're good. Okay. Let's keep on going. Let's break through here. I'm gonna try some more bombs. Bombs didn't even do it? What about weaponry? Like, Yunobo does great, man. Yeah, stone weaponry does it. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to really dig through if you don't have Yunobo. Oh, this is great. Okay, uh, we've got a little water area here, so let's bring our Zora gear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is it. So this is where we got to go for the next piece. I'm going to stand over here. We're going to try to bomb arrow that. All right, here we go. Bomb flower. Dude, what? Are you kidding? That's where I got to go. Why doesn't a bomb flower work? Well, maybe we'll use Yunobo. I don't really want... Maybe we surf him along the water? <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, Yunobo does not do that. So, yeah, bomb flowers don't work on this. 
Or maybe the bomb flower is just too weak with a weak bow? I don't know. Let's take a look. Maybe just stand over here and do it. There we go. That's all I needed. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, dude. What's going on? Doesn't make sense. Alright, so we made it here. And now... There's an ice-like. Alright, I don't like ice-likes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Fire arrow that. And then we're gonna go with a 69 Lionel Blade. One, two hits. And then right over here is the true treasure chest that we're looking for. The Soldier's Helm. We got the second piece of the set. Yes. Good. Cool. Don't need that treasure chest. We're done. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump out of here. And we're going to keep on swimming. Just keep swimming, man. Dude, I tried to launch Unobo over the water. Like, I thought that he would just, like... Like, you're skipping a rock. I thought that would totally be a thing, but that's not it. Okay, great. Well, here's another blue boulder area and some keys. Wow, I don't like this. I don't have any wooden weapons. Great. Where's my bow, too? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rocked. Please don't, thanks. Oh dude, come on. You know bow, take this thing out. Thanks. Ah, <sighs> you know, Paul. Give me my weapon. Alright, you ready, buddy? Thanks. I mean, it appears he only has one job, and that's gonna be to break all the rocks, right? That's it. Oh, yeah, that's not where we're going. Okay, so we're gonna be following through this way. We're gonna be going up to the top. Boing, boing, boing. Climbing up. Watch out for any kind of other keys. And then this is where we need Yenobo again. Or use any kind of rocks. So you know, well, hello, hello, Bo. There we go. Thank you, kind sir. Rusty Claymore could take it if I wanted. I mean, there's some rocks nearby, so we can go rock, rocking. Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, he's gonna throw a rock. Get out of here. Watch me launch this guy. See ya. You wanna get launched? Get launched. Oh, I'm about to get launched. Okay, so we're gonna do some work on- Oof! Wow! Okay! Thanks, Yunobo! After I take a hit. Excellent. Wow. Okay, great. Hello? Hello, Bo? He's my mining buddy. Great. Ooh. Okay, I'll take a ruby. Alright, one more, buddy. Okay, great. Ah, oh, little rock boys. Man, I don't... I guess I have one rock hammer. Dunk. Thank you. Alright, now it looks like we gotta go directly underneath here. So, you know, Bo, do your thing. And I'll try to help out. Great. That's all I got. I don't see any other fusions, but uh, I'm looking for my boy. Here we go. Let's do it. Breaking stuff. Yeah, and that's going to be... Right? Is that it? Is that it? Where is it? Underneath the like? Dude, forget about it, man. I'm just going to just gonna grab this. Thank you very much. That's it. The soldier's grieves. Excellent. Do I want to Do I want to deal with this thing? No, I don't. I do not want to deal with this thing. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to lookout landing. Uh, actually, let's go over to our good friend, uh, Kotera. We're gonna go over to Kotera really quick, and we're gonna check out what our gear looks like. I think that's like the inside of a like-like's mouth. We just dipped out. <laughs> he could have easily grabbed us, but we at least snuck in, got our thing, and dipped right out of there, so... Yeah, kinda scary. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't like the like-likes. But I'm glad, because in the, historically in the Zelda games, if a like-like eats you, like sometimes they could take one of your weapons uh, permanently away. You have to go out and buy another tunic, which is really crazy. Uh, but luckily in this game, the developers are pretty generous. Could you imagine if the like-like ate you and then uh, you didn't get, you like lost your Master Sword? What? 
All right, anyway, last thing over here is really just going through to my favorite great fairy and seeing exactly what we need in order to upgrade these two gears. And I'll upgrade them off screen as to not bore you guys with the whole material collection and everything like that. But we should be good on that. All right, anyway, here we are. Boom. Let's do it. Come on out, my friend. Calling Kotera. Hello. Oh. Yeah, we got some gear here. We got some gear here. Look at this. Okay, so rubber armor, you need... It looks like some electric stuff. So electric Lizalfos horns, pretty cool. The um, soldier's armor, some choo-choo jelly and bokoblin gut. So stuff that you have a lot of. So the only thing I didn't get to show you guys is what the full armor looks like as far as the soldier set goes. So let's go take a look at that. And uh, yeah, we should be all set. Boom, boom, and boom. We're going to take this off, remove that, remove that, and no weapon. So this is what Link looks like. There we go. Cool little armor, huh? Look at that. He looks like a full-on royal guard. So he is done, man. Look at this guy. Hey, I like the little helmet too. So I'd be curious as to seeing what uh, what else this thing can do. Is there a set bonus? How much defense does it get up to? Because if we noticed over here, uh, with sorting by set, I completely upgraded the Zonite set, and that gives 28 defense f per piece for a total of what? If we put it on, 80 something? Yeah, 84, really good. Anyway, well, that's gonna be it for the episode. Uh, in this episode, we got some pretty cool sets available for us, right? We got a rubber set, and then we got the uh, soldier's outfit. So I can't wait for it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom. And on our next episode, we're gonna do probably like the Royal Guard set, We've got the Phantom set, and we got Long Quest for the Froggy set, Yiga set. There's a whole bunch more, so stick around. You guys are great. Have a good rest of your day. See you later.